So when I slept, I slept with like my hand cuffed to the bar and I was kind of slept like this. It's a domestic black site. Brian Jacob Church, who claimed he was interrogated without being read his rights at a Chicago police facility, told the Guardian newspaper that when it comes to the Holman Square warehouse, quote, when you go in, no one knows what's happened to you. Joining me now, the reporter who broke the story, Spencer Ackerman, the Guardian U.S. National Security Editor. All right, CPD pushing back very hard on this. They're basically saying, this is a nothing burger. Of course, we have a facility there. People know it. And any time any suspect is brought in anywhere, whether it's there or uh, uh, any CPD facility anywhere in the city, they get booked. Yeah, when do they get booked? Where do they get booked? Look at everything in that statement the CPD did not say. They say you'll get an access to a lawyer. When do you get access to that lawyer? How do the lawyers get access to home and square? We've got something like half a dozen attorneys who've told me over the last several weeks that when they go there, they actually get turned away. Similarly, there's no booking record of people who go into Home and Square. Family members, lawyers don't even know where people are when they get taken in this place. All of these questions, the Chicago police elides. So what you are saying is that this facility is used. Uh, you have evidence to support both from lawyers, one person on the record, others off the record that this place, that, that suspects are brought there to be interrogated n without their lawyers and also outside the normal channels for booking, right? So there's some window of time in which they're in there. Yes, sir. And oftentimes, uh, when the interrogations are finished, they're either let back out on the street, some are suspects, some are witnesses. Sometimes the police uh, can't figure out if they actually have any evidence on people and let them go. Or if they do, eventually, they're taken nearby to the 11th district and then they're booked. In that period in between, these people are functionally disappeared. Their lawyers, oftentimes indigent defense attorneys and people who do uh, the unglamorous work of going to police stations to make sure that no inherently coercive interrogations are taking place, do not know where these people are. You, I mean, this piece was lawyered by The Guardian? Oh, significantly. I mean, you are alleging, uh, your reporting is alleging massive, a, a, a CPD conspiracy to systematically violate the constitutional rights in a matter that is prima facie uh, offensive to the basic constitutional rights we all know, Miranda, et cetera, taking place under the noses of the entire Chicago press corps, Chicago political establishment, et cetera. Like you really, that's really, you're gonna stand up by that? I stand by that. That's exactly what the story says. How I is don't it use, possible? I don't, How is it possible that that is going on, that attorneys know enough to talk to you about it, and that is not in the Chicago Sun-Times, the Chicago Reader, the Chicago Tribune, or anywhere? First, I wish you could tell me that. You've spent more time in Chicago than I possibly have. Uh, what I heard from lawyers and activists was that they've tried to interest journalists in looking into Home and Square for years and got no takers. Why is that? What's up with the Chicago media? I have no idea. What I have seen in the time that I've been reporting this and another story about a former Chicago cop who became a Guantanamo torturer and had rather ominous signs ahead of his Guantanamo time of doing that to black Chicagoans is that it's really, really difficult to get institutional Chicago interested in things that happen to poor Chicagoans, brown Chicagoans, and black Chicagoans. Um, there is a story about a man named John Hubbard who was taken to Home and Square who never walked out. Uh, Tribune reported the 44-year-old was found unresponsive inside an interview room pronounced dead. Medical examiner's office could not locate any record for the Guardian indicating a cause of Hubbard's death. It remains unclear why Hubbard was ever in police custody. Come on. So the medical examiner then contacted me after the story ran and said he died of heroin. He was found the cause of death was heroin intoxication. How could he have been in custody? If, if, any, if, if you know people who've gone through uh, heroin withdrawal, if you know people who've, who've been affected by that, how could that have happened? How could he not have gotten to a hospital? How could he not have been revived? How could he have been found dead? I don't have the answers to these questions, but there's sure cause for further investigation here. Um, today, uh, Rahm Emanuel is on the ballot. Uh, one of the things before the v voters is a reparations bill for the victims of John Burge who was a Chicago police uh, detective who tortured confessions out of people. Who not just tortured people, he electrocuted them. He hit them over the head with telephone books. And he did this to black Chicagoans. He did this to people the institutions in Chicago do not care about. Chicago police, whatever they want to say in anodyne statements that dodge the real issues that they only responded to 
after my story ran. Not last week when I sent them all these detailed questions. Have a history here. Uh, it and, has a context. And we should say Mayor Emanuel may be headed towards a runoff. He also is standing in the way of that reparations bill for the victims of John Burge's torture. The victims of his torture, that's well established. No one is contesting that. It's a question of whether they get reparations. Spencer Ackerman, thank you. The article is incredible and well worth a read. We've put a link to it on our Facebook page, Facebook slash All In With Chris. That is all in for this evening. Rachel Maddow Show starts now. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Chris. We're going to have an update on those live, live uh, uh, updates coming in from Chicago in terms Excellent. of the mayoral very, election very tonight. Very close. Interesting stuff. Very close. And the question about whether he avoids the runoff is like of national interest at this yep. point. So we'll have that as those returns come in. Thanks, man.